Okay, so what you just saw start up there was Achilles Plus written for a 32-bit processor. And that 32-bit processor is in the Yichin Pro 58 diversity module for Fat Sharks. So I've already done a couple of videos on this Yichin Pro 58, and it's become a pretty good unit. And it became a good unit because other people wrote firmware for it. And one of those people was Pio Dabro. Pio Dabro was a bloke off uh, RC Groups, and he has uh, has an open source firmware that he's written for the Echine Pro 58, and it's called W Pro 58. W meaning working, Pro 58, and it turned a bit of dud firmware, uh, a bit of dud hardware, into an actual really good working diversity receiver. But along came George, George aka GC, GC9N from RC Groups. Now you'll probably recognize his name or handle. If you actually have a real ACC unit, you will more than likely have a Achilles firmware of some description running on it these days because his firmware Achilles and then Achilles 2 uh, far outstrip the firmware that came with the real ACC. Now, he's turned around and rewritten this firmware completely for a 32-bit chip. The main reason I bought this eGene product was I read its spec sheet, and on its spec sheet it said it had a 32-bit processor. Now, none of the others do. None of the other units out there, whether you're paying $150 down to $50, has a 32-bit chip. They're all running with an 8-bit 8, 8 chip front end on them. And there's only so much that a programmer can do with an 8-bit chip. Now, a 32-bit chip opens up a whole new world of applications that you can run. Now, George, a.k.a. GC9N has gone ahead and written Achilles Plus, and on Achilles Plus, you've got a loss find model, sorry, <laughs> find loss model application. You have a lap timer. So if you're into doing your gates and racing around a track, you can just do your own personal lap timer. It, will, it works off the patch antenna, which you usually have on the B antenna. It works from that, and as you go around the circuit, it picks up your closest point and your ending point each time as it goes past you. So you've got your own lap timer on there. You've got a loss, a fine loss model application on there. He's got a new way of locking on to a signal, and that new way of locking on, he's named Curveros. And what that does is the B antenna is adjusted plus or minus one megahertz and what that does is it gives you a much more robust signal lock when you save that channel besides that the killer app which is coming out he hasn't released this part of the app yet but it will be released um, is the osd now i was lucky enough over the last month to be one of 12 testers so i've really tested this unit out i've tested it out behind wet tropical rainforest, I've tested it out behind steel sheds, I've tested it out up and down um, a long cane track. Uh, I have tested the lap timer, I have tested the model find, I have tested the OSD. It's all great, it's fantastic. Now unfortunately, it's not a freebie. You're going to have to pay George for his hard work, and I think he deserves to be paid. Um, he's taken somebody else's product, which, which in all honesty, the product, the hardware of the product was absolutely fantastic. It's a well-built diversity module for Fat Shark. It is really, really nice soldering in the board, really well put together, thoughtfully laid out. And the bonus of having a 32-bit main chip. So it really is a no-brainer to buy this particular 
diversity module for your fat shark. If you don't already own a diversity module, or you want a second one for another pair of goggles, or you just like spending your money and buying new things, you definitely should drop the little amount of money. I think it's like 28 bucks American, $35 Australian on a, a Pro 58 unit and then spending the extra 10 euros which works out to be around 11 bucks American or something, 12 bucks American and $15 Australian. You drop that extra money, around 50 bucks Aussie and you've got the flagship diversity unit that's on the market at the moment. Like it's a better, more modern piece of hardware than what LaForge is selling you for 150 odd, what TrueD is selling you for 100 odd, Hollybro is, is selling for their 100 odd dollars, it beats them all hands down. And you have an OSD. Well, you will have an OSD. I don't think it's going to take George Long to drop that onto the market as well. That will be all implemented with a little bit of soldering. You'll have to do a little bit of soldering and maybe buy five cents worth of product, a little bit of wire and a couple of resistors. But once you've done that, you've got a unit which outstrips everything else on the market. So please stay tuned. I've done a heap of video on this particular firmware and I think it's well worth doing right. I'm going to try and show you all through the menu how to set it all up correctly. We'll go out and we'll test the uh, lost model application. We'll go out and make a small track somewhere and we'll test the lap timer. And of course, we'll have a, a whole video on the OSD part of it as well. Okay, guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you on the next one.